Hey, how's it going YouTube? Jacob here for the J2H channel. Um, got another huge uh, wrestling haul this week. Oh, my hair is wacky. Um, I think 30 more pickups. I could be wrong. 28, 29. I can't remember. Um, bunch of stuff. You got Amazon, Macari, eBay. Uh, more, more help from my friends. A uh, little help from my friends. You know, I get by with a little help from my friends. Sometimes. I get high by the little with a little help from my friends. Anyway, today we're gonna be um, gonna be doing some unboxings. Again, they're all in a package. We got prices and shit. Um, some good stuff this time. Some not so good stuff this time. Um, actually, I think the not so good stuff is in a different pile. Well, what, there's some interesting uh, interactions I had on all platforms this month. Uh, I forget how much I hate buying used DVDs because they did or do scratch so easily. And uh, people on eBay aren't always reliable. That translates to Macari sometimes. So let, let's, without any further ado, let's get into this. Um, so yeah, I've just been um, keeping on this this path of buying, I guess, a ton of wrestling stuff. I don't know what it is about August or my current kick right now. Uh, so you can see we've got the uh, last throw at the Joe, the Joe Lewis Arena. I was there at the last ever event. Uh, headlined by Brock Lesnar and Samoa Joe. Anyway, um... First up, uh, this was $11 with Amazon Prime. It's one of the only items um, that's still available for uh, Prime shipping. Amazon uh, shipped and sold. Uh, that's a wrestling title. $10 is usually my price. I try to spend under five, uh, but if it's especially if it's used. If it's brand new, I'll go up to 10, 11. Okay, whatever. I must add Amazon points or something. Um, brand new factory sealed. We have the best of Raw and SmackDown 2011. You got the. Uh, Nice sticker there, like I said, brand new factory seal. Of course, you got the pipe bomb. Uh, I'm not sure why some car is on the cover. Edge there, 2011. It's probably his retirement, if I remember correctly. A uh, bunch of matches. I love these compilation sets. The best of uh, the Raws and the Smackdowns and the pay-per-views. Just because they're, they're Blu-ray comps. There's Blu-ray exclusives that weren't released on DVD, which then aren't released ever because they're just the TV shows. So it's cool to have them on Blu-ray. Especially bland, ugh, brand new factory sealed. So $11 there, awesome find, again, brand new. Um, these next two things are from Macari, Mercari, Mercari. Uh, can you see my notes there? Macari, 13 shipped, shipped. Now I say that because I was watching someone unbox uh, some titles from, it's just basically just an envelope, uh, a previous wrestling hall. I was in a wrestling mood, so I was, I was watching everybody else's wrestling hall. And someone had mentioned that there are a few or there were a few um, of pay-per-view events that were exclusive to Best Buy. So there's Best Buy exclusive pay-per-view events, which means automatically, bag toss, that they're hard to find. And uh, so this one was, was hard to find. There was no Amazon listing. There was no eBay listings. I go on Macari. Mer, Mercari. I'm just going to say Macari. That's what everyone else does. And I'm like, no way. That, that, this, maybe that's on there. You know, just dumb luck. Sure as shit. These were up there. For $13 shipped, it, I had to buy, you know, both things because it was a haul. $13 shipped. This item goes for 50, 50 or 60 bucks. I've seen it go. Um, first, we'll show the, the other item. Didn't mean to get this, and this is actually a double. You'll see later in the video. Um, best of pay-per-view matches 2012. Again, uh, I don't know if I'll keep this comp or, spoiler alert, there's one later in the same haul video. Um, basically, whichever one is better quality, I tend to sell. So I think the one that uh, is in later has been uh, resealed from a distributor. Either way, these discs are mint. Uh, don't even look like they've been touched. Um, it's a two-disc set there. With the best pay-per-view match of 2012. Uh, you got... It was 2012. Was that the Taker? Yeah, end of an era match between Taker and Triple H. Cena, Rock, Brian Prunk, Punk, Triple H, Lesnar, Sheamus. <coughs> Pardon. Big Show. Orton Ziggler and Christian versus Cody Rhodes. So... Pretty sweet. So this I paid. If you take out the media shipping, five bucks, five bucks. Now wait for this next title. So for five dollars, I got this. Like I said, one of the hardest to find WWE Blu-rays. It's not. It doesn't go for like ninety or a hundred like the Monday Night Wars or the Best of WCW Monday Night Show Volume Three. But it's uh, it's up there, man. We have Elimination Chamber 2013 for essentially five dollars. I would have paid thirteen dollars just for this and still paid shipping. $13, or $5, $5, 
I love this cover with the uh, the rock with the belt. I think that's fantastic. Like I said, mentioned in one of my previous videos, I love when they put the belts on the uh, the cover. You have CM Punk there with Paul Heyman. This was the rematch, of course. I think this is the night before they debuted the new title. Um, and the disc is mint. I checked. I was a little nervous, but I would have kept it either way, I think. Um, no background artwork, but you got the chamber there. And then Cena, was it Cena winning? No, it wasn't Cena winning the chamber match. I think it was Del Rio. Nope, it was Swagger. Del Rio was champion. Either way, uh, Elimination Chamber 2013 for $5. That's the find of the year right there. I was so jacked about that. These two both, same same shipper, 13 bucks shipped. So pretty sweet. Um, very happy to have those. Next up was the next item, watching the same video. And again, it was labeled as a... Uh, uh, um, Best Buy exclusive. Uh, I paid $16.94 for this on eBay. This was with shipping. Uh, the shipping wasn't free like those items. Um, so again, I paid about the same price, but I only got one title. Uh, and again, this was listings were like for $70 on Amazon. Uh, no legit non-Australian or Canadian releases on eBay except for one item. And I was a little nervous too because it had the uh, what do you call it? Factory factory picture photo default photo. Um, and once it arrived, it was perfectly fine. Payback 2013. Again, one of the, the harder ones to find. I think Money in the Bank 2013 is harder to find too. But uh, that one has listings on eBay for like 15 or 14. So I'm not super worried about that one. This one I was. Um, like I said, I was watching those videos at work. And once they would say, oh, Best Buy exclusive, I'm like, you know, fuck. And go check it out. Fuck. It's going to be hard to find. That, at least my thoughts. And they were... Weirdly, they're both pretty easy to find. They're pretty cheap. So, I guess you just got to know what you're looking for. Payback. I don't think this one would go for 50 The problem was this one. I just didn't see any listings. With the Elimination Chamber, I saw a listing for like 60 This one, I just didn't see any listings, which means it's super hard to find. Next up, okay, next up is the first little uh, tangent I'll go on. So, this one, and it's not the seller's fault. Um, this one was from Mercari. Mercari. I uh, paid 23 for this shipped. I love this set, and I'll show you the set right now. It is the Raw 20, it's a DVD set. Um, it's the it's uh, the 12, no, it's the 20 greatest uh, episodes of Raw, uncut and unedited. And it's a DVD set, this isn't factory sealed, as you'll hear later. Um, it's a DVD set, and it's got a nice, it's like a digibook format, and you open it up, and some, if you open it up carefully, not like a fucking goon. Um, some discs will have two episodes. It's 12 discs, so a couple discs have two episodes. Um, I really love this set. I got it for a sweet price. I think I paid 23 shipped initially, um, and then I think halfway through the set, so disc 6 was the first episode I saw. I remember seeing live, so that's pretty sweet. It's got Raw Homecoming, which is one of the hardest to find WWE DVDs of all time. That was a, uh, was a Walmart exclusive, the actual individual release. I'm not spending hundreds of dollars on a DVD release. When I could just buy this set. And, uh, you know, plus it's on the network. But anyway, that's besides the point. Um, all sorts of cool episodes on here. Uh, and I really love the set. I love that it was 20, you know, uncut episodes. And it's just, it's it's really cool. Um, I enjoyed it a lot. So, I had to have this. Whoop, put it back in the thing. Oh, no, I want to show you something. Uh, so, I get it. And because of the format, now, I'm sure everybody cringed when they saw the formats of it, you know. Getting the discs in and out. Uh, so, of course, several of the discs are scratched. One of the discs has a really deep scratch. And I contacted the guy on Mercari. And I said, hey, look, you know, so-and-so. Oh, and I'll show you since I'm talking. They also, because they go so far in there, they get fucking, you see their glue? Like, right there. Glue from the packaging on the disc because they package them so, so poorly. Um, luckily the likelihood of me popping in one of the discs and actually rewatching them is very low. And if it did skip, I would just watch the network because I have it. But either way, it's, it's a collector I wanted the set. So I wasn't too bummed. Oh no! Sorry, my package, my, my, my shit fell. Um, I wasn't too bummed, but at the same time I was like, they are scratched. He said very like, they said very new, uh, like new, very new same shit uh conditions so i contacted him he said oh how's, how's the playback so i was like well it doesn't matter how they play back uh it's the fact that they're scratched and he said they're like new so he's like well macari only offers and macari fucking 
I'm realizing how much I don't like Macari, or I guess it's false. It's not that I don't like it. We can't do a partial refund because I was like, I'd gladly take this for half. And we were trying to contact, and they would block our messages, and you can't even contact. You can't swap PayPal information. Luckily, the guy literally found me on Facebook uh, because he had my my information because I bought from him. So he found me on Facebook, and he said, "Look, I will sh I'll give you half your money back, including the shipping." Uh, you know, due to the inconvenience. So I, I gladly took that because I love the set. I think this is going to look awesome on my shelf, uh, Raw 20, and it's it's really cool. So I ended up paying 23 He refunded me 11 so I paid $12 for this. So uh, not bad. This thing goes for like 30 usually shipped, so pretty sweet to have this, even, again, if the discs are a little scratched. I'm sure what, the the one may affect playback. It's a deep scratch, but uh, I mean, I'm sure the, the glue would come off with, like, goo gone or some shit, so... But yeah, he, I was like, man, you're good. He he literally contacted me on uh, on my Facebook and was like, hey, PayPal, or, geez, Macari won't let me do anything. What's your PayPal address? I'll refund you half. All I had to do was rate him first, which made me a little nervous because sales are final on there. But I was like, you know what? Worst comes to worst, I was planning on keeping it, so I guess I just paid for it. And uh, no, he, he did right by me and everything was fine. Um, just like the next guy, which... Pain in the ass. So first of all, look at the ship job, y'all. Um, look at this. This is how it was shipped. So you see that clearly that's where the box ends. And then he just decided to say, fuck it, use the same box and fold over. Now look at the top. This is, I, sh I shit you not, this is how it was shipped. See that opening? That's a manila folder. Um, it, he just taped a manila folder. And so, you, you know, he couldn't see what it is, which was fine. But then, like, literally watch. The taped manila folder. Like, how Bush League garbage is that? Um, it, it, I was astounded by that. So, uh, so originally on, I paid $53 shipped for this. Uh, I know it seems like a lot, but once you'll see it, it's not that much. And uh, then there's a whole story. So, what I got, and it's, it's not in the best shape, but I fucking love that. I love when they do this, and they only did it, I think, once or twice. Um, so, we have the... Pay-per-view rewind box from 2005. So it's every, uh, you know, singular pay-per-view from 2005. Uh, the box is in the best shape. There's some gunk on it. it looks like literally paint on here. Um, it's 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 uh, it's been loved. You you can see the side there. You can see all the the details. Uh, I'm sure it wasn't taken care of. I'm assuming the guy what yeah. <laughs> the shape is bumming me out, but it's just gonna sit on my shelf. So you know. The biggest thing was, look how cool that is. It's one of my favorite belt, not my top five, but I love this belt a lot, and it's just like, it's so cool. That seeing this intact is one thing. You see a lot of them sh selling them, and they could be all sealed, but they don't have this outer casing, uh, or outer slip, I guess you would call it. So, anyway, to dive deeper and tell the story. Uh, so the thing showed up, obviously it's been beaten up, and I don't know how beaten up it was, before he sold it, because he sold it, I think he sold it as, like, new, which is, you know, horseshit. Uh, but he sold it, and then it showed up, and it was, you know, whatever. And then the biggest thing, and I'll sh I'm going to show you each one here, so bear with me. Little... Nope, nothing's cooperating. Hold on, just a minute two. There we go. So, like... So you got New Year's Resolu Revolution 2005, which is the chamber match uh, for the vacant world title. Oh, uh, Triple H winning, yet to gain. But anyway, so this is a perfect example, and this is the only case where it's this bad. But this came with the, with the insert, everything's awesome. New Year's Resolution to the Revolution 2005. And the disc is like... Look at that. Look at that fucking disc, bro. It's like... It looks like it got wet and then air dried or some shit like or it's been refurbed it looks like it was used for a coaster and i don't say that because it was scratched i don't think there's a single scratch on it but it looks fucking nasty and um there's there's quite a few instances of that where the discs are just like they're not cool um so new year's revolution 2005 um and then you have a few so like rumble 05 um where you got one scratch and you still have that same, like, caking on there. It's not nearly as bad with 05. Like, 05 would probably play. And New Year's Revolution 2005 might play. I don't know. It's kind of gross, you know, just to find out. So, or Rumble 2005. This, again, is, uh, you know, that was the year with Batista and John Cena, and they both went on at the same time. Vince tore both quads. 
So anyway, as I continue to go in here, um, no way 2005. Now, uh, side tangent real quick. I bought this set because I love the year 2005 in wrestling, Italy, WWE wrestling. And uh, I had owned a lot of these. This one included no, no Way Out 2005. I've owned a lot of these in my own collection. See, this one's perfect, of course, because it's, you know, I already own it. So why wouldn't it be perfect, unlike the other two? Uh, this is the barbed wire steel cage between JBL and Big Show. But I, um, I owned these, so I figured 53, I'll probably end up paying 30 out of pocket because I'll sell all my other events. Like, I still have WrestleMania 21 sealed. And this one's open. I'll uh, probably keep the sealed ones if I'm being honest. But you know that that was my that was my goal. And when it showed up, I contacted the guy about the discs. WrestleMania 21, the crowning of Cena and Batista there. Then I had Orton and Undertaker and uh, uh, Michaels and Angle. And I tried to contact him or she. It might actually be a she. Uh, it doesn't matter. But I tried contacting them, and I said, hey, it showed up today. I'm disappointed. This one's sticky. That's fucking amazing. Um, you know, it wasn't in the greatest shape. Uh, but all these discs are fantastic. It wasn't in the greatest shape. You know, I'd like, like, what's up? You said this was perfect condition or very, I think it was like new. And I said, these are not like new. Several of these discs have been completely fucked. And then you have ones like, so this one, check this out. So Backlash 2005. And I've owned this set before, nor have I seen any other box unboxing. So if you've had this set or know anything, please comment below. I think this one's still technically brand new factory sealed. It's got the top label, the side label, and the bottom label. Like, I don't know if these were actually shrink wrapped or the whole thing was, but this is still, this is brand new factory sealed. Like, as far as I'm concerned. So we had ones like these, brand new sealed, but then New Year's Re Revolution looked like, uh, a, like a bagel. So I didn't, I didn't get it. So I contacted them, them. It didn't respond, didn't respond. So then I said, you know, fuck it. I'm gonna try to. Um, I'm going to try to uh, get my money back. I'm gonna try to return the item. And finally, they accepted my return, and I was like, okay, uh, I'm gonna ship it back in the same box. So I contacted them one more time, and I said, look, are you sure you want me to just return this? It's gonna get even damaged, even, even damaged her. It's gonna get even more damaged on the way back. And they said, oh, no, no, I'm so sorry, sorry for convenience. And again, he said, let me refund you uh, $20. Does that sound okay? And I was like, yeah, absolutely. Um, I would I would do that. So that was the gist of it is um, I ended up paying, long story, long story long, $33 total. And like I said, I own several of these, so I'm going to get, you know, swap in and out my copies. But now that I'm done, we'll, we'll continue to go through these. So this one is still brand new factory sealed. This one I didn't own before. Judgment Day 2005 with John Cena and JBL in that awesome I Quit match there. Um, to reiterate, of these, the only ones I'd owned before were No Way Out and WrestleMania. So, getting rid of my copies. Judgment Day 05 I've never owned. Uh, this one I owned, but I've actually never watched. I probably should. Uh, and, of course, this one was not brand new factory sealed. Um, ECW One Night Stand 2005. And you can tell, like, obviously it's opened. Like, this one's opened. And I don't think the disc on this one's bad. No. Vengeance 2005, which is the Hell in a Cell match between Triple H and Batista. And I believe John Cena. Yeah, John Cena, Christian, and Chris Jericho in a triple threat match. I don't think this disc is... Yeah, this disc is just fine. Um, sweet discard, by the way. And a lot of them have their inserts, which is badass for 15-year-old DVD set. Great American Bash 2005, which I did not own yet. Tori Wilson on the cover. This one's Batista and JBL in the main event. Um, fingerprints, but those will come off. Hey, man, I'd put fingerprints on Tori Wilson, too. Can't blame him. Even if it is a chick. Uh, SummerSlam 2005, which is one of my first pay-per-views I owned. Uh, Over Cellomania by Shawn Michaels versus uh, Hulk Hogan there. Jericho and Cena. And, again, uh, Batista and JBL. Uh, I had only, I have this one in my collection right there. So I'll be uh, selling that one. Unforgiven 2005, which I hadn't owned. Orton and, uh, or Orton. 
seen an angle there. Again, sealed on all three sides, so I'm going to call it brand new factory sealed. No Mercy 2005, which I have in my collection. Um, sealed on all three sides. Uh, but Eddie Guerrero's last pay-per-view match. Uh, Batista and Eddie Guerrero, they're the main event. And Orton and... Or, the Ortons versus Undertaker in a handicapped casket match. Um, now this is weird because this is when... I don't understand why WWE started printing the sides wrong. Like that label was upside down compared to the rest of them. Not sure why. Uh, it doesn't make any sense to me, but oh well. Taboo Tuesday 2005. The case has seen better days. Uh, seen an angle and I believe Michaels. Yes, a triple threat match. And then Triple H and Ric Flair in a steel cage match. Love this cover too because you got the... I just love that cover. You got the uh, the belt on there. The, the old 4 cover is way cooler. Uh, stay tuned for that in a later unboxing. Fingerprints again, but disc is fine. No scratches on that one. Uh, next up. One of my favorite events of all time because I was there. It was at the Joe, so I didn't even do that on purpose. Um, so, oop. Survivor Series 2005 from the Joe Louis Arena. The Return of the Undertaker and Team Raw versus Team SmackDown. So this one is really cool because it's brand new sealed. Um, so I'll probably be keeping this one because I just love this event so much. Um, but I'm, I'm not sure. Because my disc is love. That's the disc I bought the month after it came out, and I've always owned it ever since. And this is kind of someone else's. I don't know. It's like a rock in a hard place. But either way, so Survivor Series 2005. And next up, uh, another example of like, I call it what the fuckery with this box. You got Armageddon 2005. But it's got, oh, this one has the upside down spine too. Like in the shelf, it should be like that. I just don't understand. Or is it back? I don't fucking know. It's weird. I'll give you an idea, so don't think I'm crazy. So this is No Mercy, Taboo Tuesday, and Survivor Series. So, <laughs> No Mercy and Survivor Series, which the two I've owned, are completely upside down. Taboo Tuesday is normal. So I don't know why or what the, the goal was, but I've always thought that was weird. And that's not just with this set. That's the complete, every single release you'll see for those two events. And this one. Um, Armageddon 2005 with uh, no, no plastic. The artwork's there. You know, it's really cool, but I don't understand why there's no plastic. Um, and then it's fucking upside down, so I didn't even do that right. My bad. It's got the insert. Ew! The disc is absolutely trash. I think this, this whole thing's trash. I mean, there's no plastic. It's got the original insert, which is awesome. Oh, uh, you got Screaming Batista there. And actually, I don't even know if this is the, the release that, you know, would have been in the box because my release of Armageddon 2005 has, um, God, jeez, sorry, has uh, a bonus disc with Armageddon 2003. The original release of Armageddon 2005 on DVD comes with a bonus disc with um, Armageddon 2003 in it. And it was not even announced. I don't think there was a sticker on the case. I bought it and I was like, whoa, that's awesome. And I say that because this was pre-network, so I had never seen Armageddon 2003. So when I bought 05, I had two two events to watch now, and I was just, oh man, I miss it. Simpler times, man, simpler times. So that's the whole set. Got Revolution through Armageddon. Put all these back at your expense. Uh, feel free while I'm doing this to leave a comment. Be sure to like and subscribe. Share it. Let all your friends know, especially if you're a wrestling fan. Uh, our rest, us wrestling fans need to stick together, especially wrestling collectors, too. I know there's a few really good ones on YouTube, which is awesome. Representing the community really well. But anyway, I ended up paying 33 I'm hoping to sell all the old, my old 05 DVDs for just about that cost. So all, really the only thing I'm paying for is between the two, the, the new events, because I didn't have, I'd say I had less than half. And uh, the uh, fancy schmancy box. So there it is without the thing we got all all the events there Ta -da! so did you like did you subscribe did you share i don't think you did like right now so a couple more items i know i said that a couple times uh these were 30 dollars with shipping on ebay um some really cool stuff in here i was great i was happy to glad Happy to glad these. I was glad to grab these. Let's go in order here. 
First up is a 19 year old DVD um, that I don't own. I own this whole this whole year except for one event. Um, we have Rebellion 2001, which is uh, these are the UK exclusive pay per views. So this one was in November 3rd or on November 3rd in Manchester, England. Main event being Austin and Rock for the WWF Championship. So I own. All the 2001s except Royal Rumble 2001. Uh, no Way Out 2001 didn't get a DVD release, uh, which is weird because it was the only one that didn't, including the Rebellion pay-per-view. So if you have Royal Rumble 2001 and you're willing to part with it, please let me know. Um, these discs are, I'd say, 99% awesome. Uh, there's some light scratching, but the thing is 19. And it came with its insert first. Uh, awesome. So 19 years old and continue my 2001 collection. So fantastic there, Rebellion 2001. Uh, you're going to sense a theme here. You have Global Warning Tour, Melbourne, Australia, and 2002. So the main event here being Rock, Triple H, and Brock Lesnar. I haven't even seen that match. I don't think, correct me if I'm wrong, I even tried to look for it. I don't think this is on the network, uh, which is badass, especially because, you know, early Lesnar and Triple H, that was a dream match when I started wrestling. Or uh, watching wrestling. When I started wrestling when I was eight. No, when I started watching wrestling. Especially with The Rock there. This would have been right before, right before SummerSlam, where he left. I think this one is the one that has the some surface scratches on that one. Not a huge deal, but really cool. Again, came with original insert. Hold on, there you go. So, Global Warning Tour 2002. And the next one, this one's not as hard to find, but I have that the box, not the box set, but the 03 set. And this was, it wasn't included for whatever reason, again, because it was a Newcaster England exclusive. Uh, 2003's Insurrection, which is main evented by Triple H and Kevin Nash in a street fight for the World Heavyweight Championship. So I believe this is right after, right after Bad Blood. Uh, the spine's really small, I'd tell you. Uh, and then, unlike a lot of collectors, I see them just squish this in timeline-wise in 2003 that makes their set look weird. I gotta tell you, I'm just gonna put it before or after. Like, the 03 spines look so cool. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, you really should look. Um, 2003 WWE DVDs, they all have those blue spines that all line up. And I have all of them, and they all line up perfectly. So I don't think I'm gonna put this in timeline order, because it's my shit and I do what I want. Um, no insert with this one. Not a huge deal. Um, fingerprints and, you know, it will come off. So Insurrection 2003. Losing my train of thought here. So, pretty cool. I love these events. Um, I have the tape of uh, Insurrection 2001. I've always loved the events. They're exclusives. They're, you know, across the pond. Oops, did that disc just fall out? Nope. And they're uh, so sweet. So $10 each with shipping. So not bad, especially for these two, because these are older. I think this one, this one you can still get decent. This one you get for a decent price, but usually not this one. So I got all three of them. $10 a piece. Uh, 2001, 2002, and 2003. What a cool set. Uh, next items, 28 minutes in, are from the Rickster, uh, Mr. Down to Movie. If you guys don't follow him, you're wrong. Uh, I will put a link to his uh, Instagram, eBay, all, all his shit uh, down below. So, um, yeah, we're going to get into it here. He sent me a package. I split the package into two videos because there's a lot of wrestling stuff and there's some really non-wrestling related stuff uh, right here, actually. So, we'll get to that in a later video, which probably aired before this. So, yeah, same same thing here. If you watch all my videos, which not a lot of people do. Um, but anyway, so he sent me one, two, three, four, five Blu-rays here. So let's get into it. And he sent me the receipts because he's amazing. and I, So I know what I paid for everything. The first thing is really easy to know what he paid for it. This is a Dollar Tree title that I didn't have yet. Bragging Rights 2010. Uh, my... Podcast co-host is texting me. By the way, if you don't uh, listen to our podcast, you should. It's, it's quite enjoyable. It's not wrestling related, though. Bragging Rice 2010 on Blu-ray. Factory sealed. I believe it's the Canadian release, but it's just fine. A dollar on that one, because it's a Dollar Tree title. Alright, let's see how we did this. Now, he was at an FYE, and he grabbed these for... I think there was having a buy-to-get-one sale. Buy two, get one for a dollar. So the, so what he did, because I grabbed four of them, um, he was really good about 
getting his best price and you know making sure he buys three to get the best value of your buy one get one and then buying the other items separate so he's really good about that stuff um so first up he played straight up 399 for this for me if that makes sense um you've already seen this in this video uh pay-per-view matches 2012 again it's been resealed so this is probably the one i'll get rid of um and it would be really easy just to to pop up as you know used but guaranteed and sell it away so pretty cool there he got this for $3.99 and I think it's Delaware so no tax which is awesome so $3.99 brand new I say brand it's not brand new factor so it's used uh, and then next up we got the one dollar item because he bought the other two items for me uh, again used but guaranteed uh, so a dollar on Survivor Series 2012, which had the triple threat match, uh, Cena, Punk, and Ryback, and then the Team Foley, Team Ziggler stuff. So pretty sweet there. A dollar event DVD. There's two, or a dollar event Blu-ray. There's two of them actually in this unboxing. So sweet. I didn't go over Bragging Rights, did I? Bragging Rights had the Buried Alive Between Kane and The Undertaker, where they never explained the ending. Next up, a pretty sweet one. I don't know. I think this one will be going in the collection, though I'm not 100% sure. It's only $8 on Blu-ray. Uh, the top, is it 50? Top 25 greatest rivalries. Uh, Andre and Hulk Hogan there. What, a, what an awesome cover. Uh, of course, Austin versus McMahon in the background there. Pretty sweet. Um, showdowns from WWE, NWA, WCW, ECW, AWA, and WCCW. 90 minutes of Blu-ray exclusives. Uh, the Rebels versus the Boss. Brother versus Brother. Irresistible Force means the immovable object. So probably going to my collection. Awesome find there. I think I'm going to overhit my boundaries again. It's going to be over a half hour. Uh, this one for $19.99. He grabbed me this. Um, the Monday Night War Volume 2. Now at the time this was a fantastic find because I didn't have it. And he paid, I paid $19.99. Um, Fantastic find because I hadn't yet bought that huge Macari unboxing, uh, which if you haven't watched that, you really should. It's a, it's an awesome video. Um, so I was like, oh my god, they have you know snagged that immediately, you know, no big deal. And then, uh, or not no big deal, huge deal. Grab it for me because this goes for good money on eBay. Um, of course, then I got the huge Macari unboxing, but these discs are fantastic, and I believe. My Macari unboxing had it factory sealed, so I will be getting rid of my factory sealed copy. So thank you so much, Rick, for those four titles. Uh, three from an FYE, because he's awesome and has an FYE near me, and I don't. kind of sucks. Um, did I say three? Five. Five titles there from the Ricksters. All WWE Blu-rays, because he's the best. So thank you so much. You guys definitely check out his channel. Um, link in the description. Last item. I love these FYE receipts. Yep, just went over. Sorry, guys. Uh, I'm on my last item, though, if that makes you feel better. Uh, last item here is a... It's a Dota film, so it kind of counts. Uh, it's a triple feature. This was a Dollar Tree title. I ended up getting it for a dollar with shipping. Um, it was a bid, and I was the only one who bid on it. Uh, you have WWE Family triple feature, The Chaperone, Legendary, and Knucklehead, which I owned on DVD already, so now I can get rid of it to shave, save some shelf space. Shave some elf's space. Uh, Knucklehead Legendary and Triple H The Chaperone. So I've only seen Knucklehead. It's a it's a fun movie. It's a big show movie. Uh, the only thing I don't like is stacked discs. But there's a Dollar Tree title. And their discs are fine. So cool there. And I have the other WWE Family feature, which is the four-pack. has like No Holds Barred, Inside the Rule, or Bending the Rules, Inside Out, and fourth title. I don't know. So Awesome. All right, let's try to uh, let's get this bread, man. Let's get this elevator. It's going to be out of order, but I don't give a shoot because this thing's huge. So let's go over it one more time. Awesome haul. Uh, very excited for a lot of this stuff. So Raw 20th anniversary, or Raw... 20th Anniversary Collection, Payback 13, Pay-Per-View Match 2012, Elimination Chamber 13, Best of Raw SmackDown 11, Family Triple Feature, which is kind of a WWE DVD, let's be honest, Monday Night Raw Volume 2, Greatest Rivalries, Survivor Series 2012, Pay-Per-View Matches 2012, again, 
Bragging Rights, 2010. I can't see my own shit. Rebellion, 2001. Global Warning, 2002. Insurrection, 2003. All of 2005 on DVD. That's the haul. Look at that. So, awesomeness. Thank you again, Rick. Thanks to, well, everybody on Macari and shit, but they don't watch my videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and sitting through another 35-minute wrestling video. Hopefully you guys are enjoying these. Uh, I filmed three of these, so I should know by now if you're not because my views will suck, I guess. But they usually do. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, be sure to check out my links in the description. Twitter, eBay, Twitter, eBay, Instagram, TV Time Letterbox. I rate and review all the TV shows and movies I watch. And my Blu-ray.com, along with my podcast, I co-host with Mr. Crazy Joe. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments if you own any of these. If there's a deal you're jealous of. Uh, if you've ever seen the 05 box, if you've owned it, if they're supposed to be shrink-wrapped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much. And I'll catch you later, YouTube. Bye.